Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, you know drop a line i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift please go ahead and give a thumbs up and you know definitely share it would be greatly appreciated and you know send so much love light upliftment healing whatever you're needing to get through your days you know just trying to you know get yourself and you know your better best version of yourself in true alignment i'm sending it towards your way a million times fold anybody who's coming in with deceptive intentions motives trying to seek destroy block or whatever i'm sending that back towards you 20 20 million times fold um the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey oka god is god is using the devil's tactics to help you um help you uh in your strength of purpose is really true you know a lot of times if you've been with me you have heard me say you know god and devil goes hand in hand but they have two different intentions of using what is placed on your path to either help you grow or help you destroy you know you have to be able to understand which, which is which because a lot of times we, we can go through our lives and we not understand are we speaking through are we speaking and moving through egos of emotion are we speaking towards our higher self you know anything and a lot of times it was it'd be just dumb times when you really trying to find out yourself it's not saying you're stupid or slow or anything like that but if you're in a certain frequency for so long it's hard for you to be able to especially if you have something like self-defeating words where you speak negativity all along your life other people's lives even out towards the world you know a lot of times it's hard for you to understand am i speaking through my higher self or am i speaking through my ego and it's like anything is self-defeating make you question yourself doubting yourself you know saying oh you're not this because i tell people a lot you know and which people have told me you know what Rosalind this has happened when you have gone through you know that very intensive uh spiritual awakening you have dark attachments type to, you know really strongly connected to you because they've been they've been following you since birth you have to understand that you've been following since birth you have maybe been that type of person to where you, you it can make you feel like you had a dark line and over your head like there was constantly something that was going on into your life that was very destructive you know whether it was within you your choices or it was just different things you know i've seen how many times you know i was you know i could have been back on you know uh uh, the milk carton for a lot of different things that came into my life because then I know it was the other day I was really, you know, really reflecting my like, god dog how many different things that has really been sent to destroy me like I was doomed from the freaking womb you know it was a lot of different things that went on to my life that I, you know I was just like I don't understand how these happen it's just like God knew God knows what which ones he planted really strong purposes for and for that to happen the devil has been strongly attached that that one cannot live this one cannot survive we need them on our team because whatever you hold is very powerful the devil wanted to be able to take a hold of that you know he wanted to be able to do that because he already knows if you get into that right position where God's gonna place you at it's gonna show you know it's gonna show where everything of where your life is just dripped all up in, in impossibleness that made it possible within you because that has God's name all over it you know there'll be different things where you, you you're hearing and seeing miracles in life but a lot of times you know things can go really bad in our lives and we really question where is God at you know it's really like that it's like where was God when this happened where was God with that you know if he loves me why did he allow this and this and this to happen and a lot of times you don't have answers for those things a lot of times you have more questions than answers and these are the different things that take place into your life that really you know needed to be answered through your way of life of how your life was unfolding so there'll be different things that's taking place in your life where you know you're in poverty you may be homeless or you may be in jail for certain things you didn't do um you you've gone through a disability that has really you know popped this way into your life or there'll be different things you may have caught that was very you know terminal towards your life you may have caught cancer or you caught aids or hiv and different things like that and the devil will place this on your life and god will use that as some kind of tool to be able to help you there are so many different people i've seen that i truly have admiration for and just send blessings towards their way because it was just like things they've been hit with 
you are really trying to understand why where's God at with this situation and it really shows you it was like the girl I was talking about uh, the other day um, her name was Gina Gina too and I, just this morning I know I was looking like uh, what was the different things that's going on in the world that um, that's making everybody just like energy is heavy it's like it's making you very irritable you know you can be up with energy and then you very low you know you're having headaches you're getting all these daggone down lows you know things is getting sensitive all hell breaking loose around you you see darklings you know you see family they look like they act like they're possessed and jump like that it's just really stuff is really going through a huge transference and it is, it's just like you don't know where if you're coming or going and these are the different things where it's really testing your faith it's testing your boundaries it's really testing you know your consistency your patience and all that is really going towards the test right now so you've seen a lot of different things that's coming on into the world and it's just like when i was talking about gina i know this morning i was scrolling up on um instagram while i was looking i said i go to my my thing because i knew there was something going on but i couldn't remember the name of it i said i already know what certain you know accounts to go to they already know they, that those are my plugs my information plugs that i go to and i'm like man there's something going on and i know it is because i'm purging a lot just like today it's just like I feel like I got so much information I want to be able to share with people but I sound being very selective on my words because it's like I'm not trying to be breathing in something that's regurgitating like it's it, you know it's like ugh, like I already recycled this why why is this coming out again because this is something I may be feeling on my mind and if I don't like what I say I, you know I go ahead and start the video all over again I'm like look you ain't in that, that vibe no more don't go back to that you know if it's being said you, you already know you won't get some kind of signal is this is what yeah you hit the you hit the nail on the head you know this is where you need to be talking about this is subjects you need to be taking you know on, on the directions you need to be taking it was just like with her you know she showed that point where she's a model you know she was an ig model i think she was an ig model or something like that because she was very abstract in a beautiful way like you know there'll be a lot of people that you see out there was like oh my gosh they you know they, they were made for the camera because she had that very distinctive face it really stuck out like that and it was just like when she showed where you can tell she was starting to lose weight it was like she was always tiny but it was like she was losing massive weight and she showed it where she was like about 60 65 pounds and it was like she couldn't breathe you know it was hard for her to be uh mobile you know her you know she wasn't able to speak because it was just like that's how weak she was and you can tell that was devil ripping all over her for her to just step foot and tell people hey i have aids you know i don't know how i caught it and it was just aggravating because it's just like it already took this girl go nads to go out and tell people you know how many people carrying around that mess and giving it to people and just don't care because they feel like oh my life is messed up i need friends to go you know i need friends you know meet people in my world too you know there's a lot of people that's out here doing that that's why it's like you know just because this person look healthy don't mean that they're healthy you need to protect yourself you need to get to know people don't be jumping in from bed to bed to bed to people you know everybody think oh that's super cool you know i'm getting this getting that it'll be you end up catching something and you be mad at the world just because you weren't listening you know but it was just where her she showed back like a couple of months ago where she was just like she was light as a feather and now it's like she was showing herself on the bike and i was like crying happy tears and i'm like this is what I'm talking about. You are showing how God is moving through you. Because this was something that should have killed you. This was something that was sent to destroy you in your life. But God used you to be able to see that. Because you already know you're going to have people bringing hateful comments to you. And it was just like I was giving the side eye. I'm like, look, you cannot judge this girl and do whatever she needed to do. It's like, oh, people, she giving this and this and that. How is this girl giving this to somebody and she doing it personally? And she sitting up here telling the world this is what she got. You know, I've seen one girl who did that where she had a tattoo saying, hey, I'm HIV positive, you know, and that, I tell somebody that really takes a lot of strength because it's just a lot of times in this world, there's people that know they got it and don't care. They got that, that hateful mentality, very vindictive, very devilish, where they know they got some stuff and will purposely give it to you because they feel like my life is messed up anyway. I don't care if I mess up yours. And there's people around here with that low life, that low vibration mentality. I see it too much and that's why I say oh, I'm so glad I keep myself to myself there's too much stuff going on in that world and it's just like all this stuff going on right now they probably got some diseases they ain't even put names to it yet you know you seeing people that's just like it you breathing in stuff next you know people got monkey pox you know you hearing babies that get only 10 weeks old and they catching that mess and it's just heartbreaking you know the devil in the flesh is showing you you be like yeah the greatest thing the devil never pulled is he ain't you know he don't exist you know that kaiser soul type mess and he's like as soon as he showed his face then poof he gone 
you know, the devil is in a lot of people, but there's also God that's working through people at the same time as living through God's word. And these are the different things that God will put in this wor world where he's constantly telling you, hey, you know, be careful of this person. Hey, be careful of this person, you know. And it was a lot of times we don't, you know, we don't be mindful of the different warnings that we have that's coming in, you know, uh, face to face. And on those different things that's taking, oh, this is really irritating. I'm trying to use this, uh. Um, this different, I mean, I'm sorry, this, uh, meditation vibe, because it's really good, um, that you're going through, and he'll, you'll be seeing the vibes all about that, and it'll be the next, you know, it takes something to pop off, and then you're like, why didn't you give me the red flags, I don't sent you a hundred red flags, and you didn't even pay attention, it'll be something like that, like, I sent all these red flags to you, you didn't pay attention, now you're going to have to deal with this different stuff. And there'll be different times. I don't ran into something. But then when I allowed myself to really see, you know, where it's telling you, don't deny your intuition, your intuitive, and your gut feeling. If something is telling you something, don't do it. Don't do it. Just because it's like your vibe is telling you, hey, it's telling don't say that to this person. Or don't do this with this person. Or don't go that way with that person. Stay home. You know, and then boof, something happens. And you'll be those one of those type of people. It just, um, let me see. What is that guy's name? God dog, I remember. What is his name? Rodney Alcala. It was that teacher. And she was on the daggone dating game. And that was a crazy mess. Then it was like, you got a serial killer on, on the dating game. It's like, oh, I am the banana. I'm like, yeah, uh -uh. no, you going to slip into something that you ain't going to be able to handle. And this woman was supposed to end up going out on a date with him. But her vibes kept on saying there was something about him that made my skin crawl. And you were so lucky. There were so many people who were like, man, you better go get a lottery ticket. Because you realize how many lives you don't save with yourself if you would have went out with that dude. You know, and all these different things is taking place into your life where... It will be your, our poor decision and our poor judgment that will take place in our life. And it can really beat us up. And it's like maybe this certain thing was supposed to happen to really teach me. And not being able to teach me but really be able to let me know where I was caught up in my ways. Or I allowed my poor judgment to really sin and destroy me when I even was seeing it. Because a lot of times we can be in that self-defeat type vibration. I was like that when I was little. You know when I was finding out about my life I was adopted and it used to piss me off because there was so many people that knew about my life and you know I used to get beat down when I said I was adopted and it was like well you acting like you're shameful and it was like you beat me down for telling the truth it'd be something like that and then when it came to situations like that I started doing really stupid stuff to where if I look now that was very dangerous I, I put it I got on that vibration like I didn't care about life I didn't care about who I stressed out you know that it made me really feel bad you know where I can really look at the healing moments where I really said I, I you know I ask my mom forgiveness all the time and she'd be ready to thump me upside my head from heaven it's like I've been forgive you. you need to forgive yourself because I see the you know the vibrations you pushed out the same thing your kids and I already know who was attached to that on why you acted that way that wasn't all you and so I had to be able to go through that and it was just like me becoming real with myself I see where I was being the devil's double you know it was just certain things where God kind of me to do these different things. And it was just like I would be put in situations that I know I didn't do. But it was holding me accountable for the things that I thought I got away with. And it ended up going for different things that, you know, I, I you know I thought I was being slick. Like, oh, okay, if I got away with it, it you know, I ain't get, you know, I'm not held responsible for my action. And boom, you know, next thing you know, all these different things start happening where I thought I got away with it. Now God started allowing me to live that reality on the pain that I pushed out through other people. And then for me to be able to be honest with that, because it was just like, you know, I tell y'all all the time, you've been with me for a while, I say, hey, you know, I had this part of my life, this part of my life, you know, I used to be a dancer, I used to sit up here and write bounce checks, you know, I done shoplifted a couple of times, I've been in jail for, you know, domestic violence, different stuff like that, you know, um, and I used to be heavy on pills, used to smoke weed, you know, used to drink and stuff like that. And it wasn't about me posing. There is nothing to brag about. But I also use my experience to be able to show people, don't allow people to shame you. You know, about what you used to do. Anybody who is wanting to keep on reminding you of the old things you used to do. And you done upgraded since then. Well, if you're doing the same thing, it's at worst. And it's about 10, 15 years come. Then you know you need to be talked about. Because you could have been better. You should have been upgraded by them. By you learning from those past experiences. And see, look, you see where these decisions done got me. This is what these decisions done, what place it put me in. This is where I got to ship up or, you know, ship up or ship out. Ship out. 
you know, or this is what those decisions and that experience either is going to guide me towards doing something better into my life or I'm allowed this stuff to strike ruin me and I'm gonna be nothing. Either it's gonna allow me to be in jail or it's gonna allow me to be dead. You know, anything you know, anything worse than that, like a God, you know, I, I don't wish that on nobody. But it, it allows me to be able to tell that because there's so many people that are always looking for exterior validation. When nobody can sit up here, they all say that even a pope can't sit up here and say his life is perfect because he don't make mistakes too. You know, a lot of people are making moves where they try to make it seem like they're the perfect patty out here, and they, they you know, they're step for wives and all that. And it's like, why are you trying to look perfect towards these people? There is nobody out here perfect. Anybody who judges you only judging themselves because they can't, that person can't judge you. We all have sinned in some kind of way. We have all made poor mistakes in some kind of way. There are certain things we have done in our lives that is not something that we're very proud for. But if those situations don't make you a better person, I don't know what will. That's why I have no problem with telling people these are the things that I did because I was always programmed to say, you know, what if you become famous one day? What, you know, if they find out you did this and this and that, you know, you would be embarrassed because the people that was teaching me that is always where what people thought of me is what mattered most. Not how I saw myself. Not how I represent myself. I am my own walking advertisement. If I know I stay aggressive in my own truth, and I might be aggressive like I'm shoving it down nobody's throat but you can't tell me anything that is not uplifting to me unless it's something to help me heal or help me create better in my life there's nothing you can put down on me or say something negative about me where it's going to impact my life in that way because I know I'm sure of myself I know who I am I, you know it, it's like a rotating door of, of being able to thrive against whatever it was holding me back yesterday or if this something I got insecure about what this person said or it made me second guess about okay then that means you need to stop second guessing yourself if somebody coming at you with a negative vibe because they, they, they're intimidated by you or they're fearful of you that showed much more about them and less about you that's their own personal problem that had nothing to do with you so God is going to send you in a, in, in a, in a mission whether you know devil going to do he going to send you on a dummy mission you know he was like you, you don't even realize he's sending you to pasture not realizing it's a dime a dozen with you if I know you were moving in your weakness and I know I can corrupt your mind to end up killing or end up hurting the, the devil's gift right I mean God's gift right here I'm gonna use you for that because you weaken your mind to where it's like sex drugs happiness and all this and this and this and that this is what's important and yeah a lot of times yeah we need money to move but it's like money, it, it, it's just like, it's not about everything. A lot of times when we see abundance or prosperity, the first thing we go to is money. Even though money, yes, we need that to make the go, money, go, you know, the world go around. But we can be rich within our minds. We can be rich within our knowledge, you know, our kindness, our love. Those are things that you can't put a price tag on. The main thing to make money go, I mean, what people... I see what evil does. I see what evil does when it comes to money. What people are willing to do to have a, a, a hold of that. And it makes me look at money in a different way. It really does. It makes me look at money in a different way. Because it was just like, ooh, who would not love to have the fast cars and, you know, the money you can just, you know, can buy all this and, you know, have the great houses and the great cars and stuff like that. When I'm saying the, the dirtiest things that people will do to get that, that made me really step back and look like that. I do not want to be that type of person where I'm willing to take somebody's life for something that wasn't I didn't earn. Now, if I worked hard for that, then go right. I'm a flaunt it. It ain't talking about rubbing it in somebody's face, but I'm gonna show somebody. I was down in the trenches. I was almost homeless. Ain't nowhere I'm gonna get my next dime from. But I kept persevering. I kept overcoming. I kept conquering. Kept rising above. She keep showing gratefulness. Kept giving love and kindness to other people. When I could help others, I helped them by helping myself it was helping me to help other people giving towards that so when I finally got to that point where I'm at a pinnacle that I'm still trying to reach above that yes I'm gonna show somebody yes I got millions of dollars yes I got a nice house yes I have this but I earned that if I can do it if I was at the bottom of the trenches and I got up here where I'm living up in the Upper East Side like you know the movie the show the Jeffersons I want to be able to show that it's not about rubbing that in somebody's face it's not about sitting up here saying that and boo boo I have this and this and that but I'm showing you if you see me in the making of where things were very low for me in my life 
and you seen how I struggled, you see how I was trying to make ends meet, not knowing where my next dime was coming from, where you have here and heard me say there are so many people to try to block money blessings from my life, all uh, because the fact is they didn't never want to see me, you know, surpass anything because they wanted me to be a bottom feeder. You know, when you can see the, the when me surpassing that. That person be like, you know what, I've been with Rosalind since A1 to day one. I see how far she came. You know, I've seen how far she done went through stuff. There's times she done laughed, she done cried, she done got pissed off, she done cussed folks out on her videos. And then it got to that point where she was living in peace. Not allowing what other people's negativity to reflect on her to make her see herself any different. It showed more about what they had going on in their life that they needed to heal and fix than less about her. And she allowed us to be able to see that. That is something that you can truly admire. I see how people are when they get something. They act like they all higher than thou. And it's like that. And it could be something that God truly blessed you with. And when God see that you you didn't grace. You, you know you didn't. Weren't graceful for something I blessed you with. How about I snatch it up and see how you act then. Because you were acting like you were better than people. Or you used money to control people. Or you did all this. You know you seen somebody struggling. And you rubbed it all in their face about something you were doing. And then all of a sudden boom. God you ain't humble. I'm going to humble you real quick. How about I snatch it up. And allow you to see that person thrive. But see, you see that person is like. When you look at folks like that. You see. How money changed that person for the worse. When I'm trying to use that to go for the best. Because I already see. You know sometimes that was a reflection of God's protection. On You know what. This is what happens to you when you are not grateful for the blessings I put into your life. This is what you're doing when you use it for greed and controlling and manipulate. Now I'm going to see. I'm going to give you this same experience. I'm going to go ahead and give you this. And I'm going to see how you're going to be able to treat that. Are you going to keep pouring into your cup while you helping? You pouring into your own cup, but you helping, you know, helping other people get their thirst as well, too. Because I always felt like if I was that person that God ended up blessing me in a monetary value that I could help so many people, oh my God, I'm going to use that in, in so many different ways. I want to do all these different things to be able to help people because I get tired of seeing people on, on the streets. Or one thing that really hits my soul is when I sit up here and see somebody who is in the military. And they say, you know, I hear about this person saying I'm a veteran. And I'm like, hold up. Number one. I said Biden need to go ahead or whoever was in, in, in office. If that person has signed their life away to sit up here and save a, a country, that they, we, it's like, shoot, you on your own. And somebody signed their life away to be able to do something for this country, there is never a day where they should be hooked on drugs. They don't have no therapy. That person should have a house. They should have a car and have steady income coming in. They should be able to get the same amount of money people get in the pros, any kind of basketball, soccer, football, or whatever. They should be getting money like that. Because these people don't sit up here and sign their life away to sit up here and defend a country. People they don't even know. And this is what they result themselves to. And I lost too many friends that I know that was in the military. And they end up getting hooked on some stuff and lost their life behind some daggone help they never got. That always pissed me off. And I said if I ever had a chance to be able to write a bill for that, those, those veterans need to have it. Because there ain't no reason why. If they defending us, there should be nothing them folks need to be begging on the street for. it. Nothing. You know, because it's like when you, you take yourself over there, they're exposed to a lot of things that don't make them come back right. You know, so they get into these different things to make the, the you know, to calm them nightmares and the flashes they can't get rid of. I don't see how they don't touch some people and they didn't come back exactly like that. And my, my middle daughter, her dad is like that. You know, and those are the things that really hurt me. It was like, I, I, you know, I was raised up in military uh, lifestyle and stuff like that. And I seen the different things. It was just like, and even when I allowed myself to go in, uh, what was it, live leaks and seeing the stuff that it, it gave me nightmares. And it's just like, okay, if this gave you nightmares, think about the people that had to be there. That scary stuff, you know, different things. I don't seen people lose their limbs, and it was just like, this is a knee slapper if I had a knee. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> I was like, I'm not laughing at that. That is not funny. But he made a joke out of a situation where I mean, this guy who was like, you know. Is either defend this country or stay a couple of days with his family. And there was a lot of times he was so into the military, he did that and don't realize he went over there and he stepped on. A, I think it was the IED. That's why I think you want to call it where there was a, you know, there was a a, a, a boom, you know, in the wall, you know, in the ground. I got to be very selective about words I use on YouTube. And he stepped on it, ended up losing both legs and and one arm. 
you know, he was like, yeah, it's a knee slapper if I had a knee. I'm like, oh, that is not funny. I'm not laughing at that. You know, but he was really being funny. And it's just like that he had to be able to not take, even though it, it was just like it, 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 it uh, limited his mobility. He didn't allow that to break his spirits down. Even if he did, you know, it didn't do it. You know, if he if he had any moments of weakness, shoot, I can't tell. Because that man is still moving. He, You know, he still fishes. He still swims. You know, he runs and plays with his daughters. And, you know, and stuff like that. Even though it made me cry, I said, this is what I'm talking about. The devil will put you in positions like this because he wants to be able to say there's nothing that can go past this tragedy that you had. There's nothing. All you can do is just destroy everything that you walk up on, everything you touch, everything you kiss, everything you lay down with, everything. But God used that exact situation that the devil don't put you in or the devil don't place you in a demise in and allow that to happen we see it every day we see it every day you see how different things you know i'm not going to go into you know general because there's a very touchy subjects uh, we have to deal with where there's people losing their lives by you know a, a, a huge quantity you know 9-11 situation you know that that right there it made a lot of angry people uh, that made people irate you know, just being able to know I had family that was, you know, associated with different things like that. Didn't know if they made it or not. And those are the situations you see every walk of, a walk of life was coming together to save all different people. You see how they, you know, even you see the different pictures. You see the devil's eyes in there, the pictures and stuff like that. I said, I don't know if that was Photoshop, but that gave me chills. Like you can tell this is all dipped in devil right there. All dipped in devil, but you're seeing people from different walks of life. People that don't know each other is giving them water, you know, trying to save them. And see that? I see you see how the devil done destroyed something to see how God touched that just right there. And this is what we deal with every day. You, it, it's like you can't go to church, you can't send your kids to school, you know, you, you can't go to the mall, you can't go to the casinos, you know, you can't even go to parades. Without folks doing something destroyed, that's all the devil right there. And then God's using some kind of tactics he had. No, this is not going to be how it's going to end today. We're going to have some kind of love. We're going to have some kind of unity. We're going to have some kind of peace. We're going to have some kind of balance out of this situation that he done created. And I'm going to end up closing it off with him. And this is exactly what he's doing. He get mad about that. So you are going through different changes in your life where the devil will use tactics and saying, you see, you're not loved. You see how everybody's turning against you? Nobody likes you. You see how you're sitting up here struggling for a dollar to make 15 cents? You know, where is God at behind all that? You don't have a home right now. Where is God at for all that? I can be able to give you money. I can be able to give you cars. I can give you men. I can give you women. I can give you all this. But what is the price you're going to have to pay for that? Trust me, that mess ain't free. It's always, it's always going to cost you something. Is it worth your soul? No, uh, not to me. I like my soul. <laughs> you can't even, matter of fact, that's not even negotiable. But you know, it'll be different things in this world where the devil will put an uh, impact in your life to make you feel like, where's God at now? What does he do? And you see it every day. You be, you know, and I'll just, like, I sit up here and say, and I'll be telling the universe, well, it's like all this stuff I see how these people touching kids and, you know, people, you know, all these, you know, the S STs, y'all know what I'm talking about. That, trafficking all these different things why can't we have a cleaner uh, equalizer man and woman and a bag on punisher up in the mix you know why can't we have these different things because we need one in every city even including overseas you know it's like some places over there when you touch a little kid shoot they castrate you for that they need to do this in america too but you, you keep your stuff to yourself now if, if you know that mess is going to get chopped off on the chopping block but like maybe you need that you know and all those different things that goes off in the world but god will tell you you will see the movement from me. Even through the worstest thing, you're going to see something out of that. It will be different times where you can hear about somebody lost a, you know, a child or something like that at a very young age. And then not realizing that was that, you know, and it's not to bring up a touchy subject because there's many, I always feel like there's no parent should ever have to bury their child. It should be the other way around. You know, you should have golden years with that person. They should live. Even when you lose a parent, you know, you always feel like your parents should always be here. Like, they're supposed to grow old with you, even though they're older. Like, oh, no, if I'm 100, you're going to be a million. You are not leaving until I leave. You know, we would love to have those different things in our lives that where we would love to grow old with our parents. But life don't always go. It's not folding out like that. But a lot of times when you see these different things happening, 
you know, and I always, you know, when I see stuff, it get me in my feels, and I'm like, God, what are you trying to show me with this? Because this is really ticking me off to see something like that. And it'll be somebody whose child who, you know, something happened next to, you know, that you didn't know that they were an organ donor, or you decide, you know, hey, I want, you know, I want my child to be an organ donor. And not realizing that was exactly what that child was supposed to do. Especially, he's like, I want to be able to save the world. I can be, you know, a superstar or, you know, a superhero or something like that. And not realizing that was that paper, that, that child's purpose to live, love, educate. As you, you know, you learn from them, they learn from you. And it's, you know, their life is cut short. You know, we don't, you can't question when things like that happen and why they happen the way they do. But then you end up seeing some kind of beautiful thing that comes out where that that person may have passed away but just for the fact is that that child or that that you know that grown-up decided to be your organ donor he lost his life but say about 12 a lot of times stuff like that happens or th this child may you know come up you know missing or something you know worse and so you know that that child has an amber alert or, or Alicia alert or now they don't had a thing where it was a child that was hurt in one of these abandoned places and not realizing this created a bill for now you have to have all these all these abandoned places no matter if it's you know homes or buildings or something like that either have them boarded up or they need to be demolished because it, certain things like this a lot of times these hellish situations come back and have some kind of bill that's being placed on there because of these certain things that happen like this cannot happen again this parent shouldn't have to relive this or this thing happened like that there'll be sometimes it's hard for a parents to really heal from certain tragedies like that but there'll be some kind of tragedy that all happen is like even though it's hurt me but I think that God used my child to be able to pass the bill so there won't be anybody else's child that can go through that. I never want to see a parent or a person go through what I had to go through when it had to be me having to you know whatever when it my child and these are the different things that goes on in life even though the devil's tactics is always going to be overrun by God's graces, you know. So if you're going through something very hellish in there, knowing there's God in there, you, in, in different ways you may not be able to see it this time. Or maybe it's hard for you to see because things are just so great for you and not in a good good sense. You may be going through something very hell, hellish or maybe trying to figure out where is God into this. You know, different things that make you want to just give up on life within itself. And sometimes stuff like that happen. And that's what the devil's hoping to do. Because you don't know how precious you are to God. You really don't know how precious you are towards the, you know, towards the collective within the whole, the masses or whatever you want to call it. You know, the, the ascended masters, your guides, your spirit guides, the archangel, you know, all those different things up there. They, they push you on a situation that was supposed to be sent to destroy you only to build you back up in a different way you know the devil was hurting they sent all kind of things to send towards your way to destroy you because they knew you had a greater purpose than what they were trying to show you because they wanted to be able to show you god don't you know god don't have nothing to do with that and don't realize he does he really really does he's doing everything that's power for you to be able to see the goodness even the worst of things you know they always tell us that any situation you go through has some kind of blessing in disguise you know any kind of blessing in disguise a lot of times it's hard for you to be able to see it through that when you go through things you know there'll be a lot of times where I really sit back and I'm crying I got a headache from crying so bad I'll be looking all like ish rolled over twice I swelled up can't even breathe because I cried so much and saying God why do I have to keep constantly going through that you know why does it you know I can't be separated from people who are trying to tear me down trying to take my life or, or trying to get convince me to take my life you know turn my children against me I can't see my granddaughter all these different things you know and being able to do that and it's just like you, you a lot of times it's like your answer don't realize it's within you you have to take your time to be able to find it in that way and a lot of times it takes you to just block everybody out because a lot of times that's the reason why that you sit in solitude and a lot of times that can be very painful now it's just me I love being in solitude I'm being okay you know people are like oh my god you know if we can we can be able to make her life hell as you we have nobody everybody turns their back on her and it used to be that type where I, I felt like I always had to have people in my life to make me become something 
I didn't know or it would be different things that was coming up not realized that was my spirit talking to me about my gifts and it'll be so many different things that I would hear I would hear other people's thoughts I can hear different things before they happen or I can see different things and I didn't like that so I always try to put myself around a group of people and not realizing these are the worst people to even be around so it was just like now now I'm okay with being by myself I'm okay about being a loner because I'm okay with my thoughts because my thoughts are showing me okay what do I need to pay attention to or what do I clearly need to let go of and just part ways with because it's no longer needed I, I'm gonna surpass that there's no reason for me to hold on to that and to be able to uh, you know overcome that or you already overcome that it's just your devil and the enemies and the minions is trying to wrap all in that it's trying to let you know all this and it's just like you don't have to respond to shade the moment somebody throws shade at you is already showing you when the moment they became bothered Anytime somebody always trying to stand in your way, they don't like that because you got draped in goodness and power like that. And it's not like saying that you, oh, I, I'm better than this person, I'm better than that person. It ain't even about that. It's just like you saying, you are not going to allow your past to beat me. You aren't going to allow what I did in, in days that I'm really not proud of to beat me. If you want to go out and talk about me and say this and this and that, it don't matter because I know how I am with them. People, is like, I tell people real quick, when people try to throw, they will throw their insecurities on you and try to place that on you as your person. I'm okay. I'm just that type of person. My fear is not knowing who I truly am. You know, leaving this earth and not knowing who I truly am was my greatest fear. I'm not worried about what the person is that got the next judgment on me if they believe me or not. Or what. I live my life. Your opinions about my experience don't change my experience. I know. You know, I don't have to worry about what you feel about me. It's how I feel about myself. What do I give back to the community that I can be able to allow myself to be able to say I'm okay? Not about what you took. You know, you had to go through the drastic measures to try to break me down. But look what you had to be able to do to try to do that. And you still didn't win. That's draped in God. That's draped in God. You got so many people that are trying to just demolish you. You know, make you obsolete. Whatever. Anything that's negative, they try to place that on you, and you still rise. You phenomenal, phenomenally, phenomenally. That's me. I had an issue about saying that word, but yes, you are all into that. You're dripped in sticky goodness. It really is because it's just a fact that you can go through so much, the worst and worst into your life, and if you overcome that, all oh, that makes you beastly. That really does. That makes you, you do not come with a warning label when it comes to stuff like that. Because if you had the worst of the worst happen to you and you still here and you still thriving and you use that as a template to be able to say, this is what destroyed me. What you got ain't going to match to what I've been through. What you got to say ain't going to match what I had on me. So whatever you talking, and, oh, that that's just a whole bunch of static and noise to me. Okay, that's that. Okay, you just showing me what your issue is. That's not my personal problem. That's more of a personal problem than my problem. And it's gonna be to that point. So that's the reason why you get placed in the worst situations as possible, where you have really gone through the trenches and stuff. You probably had frequent flyer miles in hell, and you never came back smelling like sulfur, soot, and you still come out all clean. You know, you went through those things because it's like when you have surpassed all those things that devil has placed on you and you still rise above that and God gives you the blessings of a lifetime because you had to be able to go through that. There'll be different blessings you got coming up into your life that you're not knowing about, but he had to make sure it's already yours. You just had to be in that alignment to be able to receive it and know what to do with it. God ain't going to give you tough when you ain't even sure about what direction to take. You having a fit about, you know, you supposed to go straight and you still having a fit to go left or right. When it's still telling you to go straight. No, because you're going to mess up a blessing of a lifetime. This is supposed to be for you and a legacy from a million times full. And if you still up here having a heart attack over going left or right when I keep telling you to go straight, I'm your GPS. Stop getting lost in transition. <laughs> you know, you ain't ready for that yet. So I'm going to put you in every situation that was meant to destroy you, to bring you up, to make you untouchable, just undestructible. Those are the different, the devil's doubles is not going to be able to destroy you. It'll be able to help build you up because it's just like a lot of times people feel like if we push hate on that person we talk negativity to that person we breathe fear into their life they bring you know doubt into their life you only breathe that towards yourself i will never take any kind of insight no you know no no kind of you know what, what's your opinion about stuff when you don't gave up 
or you use deceptive ways to get what you got. I'm not about to, you know, you didn't even believe in your dream. You let that go. You try to snatch somebody else's. I can't take no vibe from you. I can't take no insight from you because you did it in destructive ways. I want to go to somebody in a situation. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of an example I had with my, my, uh, my boss. And he really didn't like me because I was not that type of person to kiss ass. I didn't agree with everything he said because it was always him needing an ego to fed. And I'm like, you will starve if you mess around with me. And it will be different co-workers to be standing there and trying all they can not to bust out laughing because it was like, this is when I used to smoke weed. I didn't tell my, you know, my boss. I'm like, nah, I ain't going to tell you I do that. I have to deal with something. It's like, either get along with your people or have a drug-free day. You can't pick both. For me, to be able to do that i'm gonna have to be able to smoke on you know i had to smoke on my herb so he was just like oh oh i'm so happy i finally you know i finally become a drug counselor i was like oh and i don't told this story before um but this mess is still funny every time i say it and i was just like oh okay so what pick your poison what was your poison he said, what do you mean? I said, well, you, you know, addicted to alcohol, weed, you know, you know, the booger sugar, you know, the hair bomb. What was it? You know, oh, oh, I had none. You had none. Yeah, it's like, no, you ain't never had no addictions or anything like that. No, you know, self-harm, no eating disorders, nothing like that. No. Oh, uh, okay. He said, so you trying to tell me if, you know, you had to go to a drug counselor, you would never go to me? No, I wouldn't. And I said, you want me to tell you why I won't? And then it was like, oh, shoot, you know, I was about to really feed it to him. And I already know, I always brought him back down to size anyway. He didn't like me like that, but it is what it is. I come, you, uh, you, you know, don't be, I'm not that person that's going to say yay and nay to everything that you want me to say yay and nay to. Because I may agree with you and I may not, but you have to respect the fact that I'm being truthful. You don't like that, hey, I'm the wrong one to ask. And I said, no, I wouldn't go to you. And then, then, let me tell you, you know why I won't go to you? Because I want to be, I'd rather go to somebody who was a crackhead for 25 years and been sober for 15 and probably done fell off that rocker off the, off the wagon about two or three times. I'd rather go to that because your book cannot sit here and tell me when family life get really bad and financial is really scarce to me, how I want to go back and numb myself for all the things that I really don't feel like dealing with. And as soon as I said that, it was 11-11. You know, what, what did you do? I don't want to hear about what a textbook said. I want to know what your mind was like. You know, I want to know what your mind's like. Because I won't go to you. I'd rather go to this crackhead Felicia right here. And no disrespect towards anybody like them. Like, bye Felicia, hello. It would be one of those type of things. I'd rather talk to her. Because she knew exactly what it felt like to be in that vibration where things got too heavy and too hot. And the only way she knew how to self-medicate is go back to those old ways on how to suppress things you really needed your attention to be able to fix. Really need to be on your... So I'm not going to you about what you're telling me, what a textbook told you my mind was like. I don't want to go back to a person that know they've been there and they knew what it took just to not deal with that. That's why I told them I could be a drug counselor before you can. I'm dealing with stuff that makes me want to go back and smoke weed. You know, I'm dealing with a lot of things that really made me want to pick up a drink. But I've been having to deal with that for the last two and three years sober. Sober. You know, there'll be different times where I I went through different stuff and it made me want to just, you know, all I had to do was just, you know, talk to somebody and how, hey, you know, can I get a B? You know, I roll a bunch, you know, get a little vape, whatever it is. Can I have one of those? I'm really going through some stuff. That's what they were hoping I would do because they were like, oh, Lord, what we're ever doing is getting to her, you know, and be like one of those things. I will come in my room. I would watch comedy, you know, I would watch my boy, you know, Camp Crystal Charlie because that, he a fool, he be having me laugh when that high pitch screaming he be doing, or I go watch a scary movie, or I watch meditation, or I go write, I go journal, I speak to my dad because me and him got that high, you know, very strong, you know, connection, even though he's, you know, over on the other side, I'm able to do that, I did very therapeutic things to get through things that really challenged my life because the devil was coming back like, hey, you know, it'd be different times that I don't sit up here and been cleaning up the house. And there would be a bag, a, a, you know, a five sack up in there, a dime bag or a nickel bag up in there. I hurried up and flushed that mess. They were like, girl, you did. I said, man, look. <laughs> you know, I was like, man, I knew that was one of mine and I ended up throwing it away. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't even going to get no tip. you like, you can throw the trash. Mm -mm, I'm flushing it. Because I'm not going up in there in trash. I can get straight up and get, get mad and go back in the trash. I want to go flush it. Those are the different things I'd rather go talk to somebody about. Because you cannot tell me anything that's going to tell you from a te textbook. What is a textbook going to do? You know, I'd rather go to somebody who actually lived and breathed and went through that stuff many a times. 
Because you're showing me, yes, I done fell off the rock or yes, I done fell off the wagon. I done went back because I allowed the best to get to me. I allowed the pettiness to get to me. I allowed those negative voices to get to me. I allowed the enemy and their, you know, their toxic daggone vibrations to get to me. And I fell off. But those are different things where even, you know, it's been a while. I can't, you know, it seemed like it could even been like a year ago that I haven't, you know, had a blunt or anything like that. But it felt like two and three years. It's been almost, shoot, like six, seven months I even had a cigarette. You know, and when I did, I was like, oh, and I had to cry because even I didn't like the smell. It was in my nose. It was in my fingers. It was in my hair. You know, I had to go scrub everything down, you know, go on my nose and clean it all out. Because, you know, if you smell it in your nose, that means it's all the particles in your nose and been like that. And I said, you know, if it's, I'm going to have to go through all this just to not smoke a cigarette. It's not meant for me to smoke. I have to be able to, you know, I really felt down on myself because I really allowed that to get to me. But then that was the way you're growing because you're seeing you have to have more power over yourself than your weaknesses do. I will put different weaknesses into your life to see how are you going to be able to do that. Are you going to allow yourself to go back? Even though you're the only ones there that knows about it. It's just the fact is, are you going to cheat yourself out of something like that? Are you going to allow yourself to stay sober? Are you going to allow yourself to dive into your weaknesses? Those weaknesses... No matter what it is, those weaknesses can get you locked up. The weaknesses can get you killed. And those weaknesses can give you diseases you don't want to worry about. Whatever your weakness is, whether it's sex, drugs, you know, stealing, you know, you, you a klepto, whatever it is. You know, all those different things. The devil will do that. You know, and especially when you're allowing yourself to upgrade and he sees that you really hitting them pinnacles, he will send different things your way. And God will use it for your strength while he's trying to um, indulge you in your weaknesses. So you have to be, you know, you have to be very selective. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Timberwolf. As always, much love to you as always. 420 Dean uh, Blazing as well as, uh, Ro uh, what is it, Rosie Ro uh, Rosa. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. And, um, you know, just being able to let you know, I leave all the contact information. I don't know if I just said that, man, I'm hot and I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'll leave that all in the, in the description box below for you able to contact me. And we can just speak on things, you know, different things you may want insight about. Or you tell me this is what I went through. Do you have, you know, what, what do you give your take on it? And I try my, you know, try my best to be honestly be able to say, hey, these are the different things. God has blessed me with that, you know, where I've been able to help a lot of people with that. And just give them a deeper uh, perspective of their path to purpose and I really love to feel like you know I love to be able to help other people do that whatever we speak on is highly confidential and I hope out the best way I can you know if you go on my community section you'll find different you know a different post I have whether it's memes or different things that's going off on the universe where it may be you know you've been going through some stuff that really make you deflected questioning in life you know we're going through huge changes we're in the mercury of retrograde right now so it's like ending severing karmic cycles you know understanding there'll be different people you know you got to change your rotation of vibration of people so all these different changes are going in in life where you have to make very boss move choices you know go through different things but you got to be very selective about what you say about what choices you make and why you doing things you know all those different things so i you know i've been leaving those here you know on that section of uh the community as well as podcasts too i haven't did a podcast in a while but there are some on there that you, if you would love to be able to watch those as well i might yeah there'll be some different stuff that i have to share too as well but um you know those two and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app is there as well um whatever vibrations you're needing to be able to still work on your mandates to bring into your fruition whether it's consistency belief stability calmness healing you know blocking out the dead talk you know all those different things i'm sending a million times towards your way please know your light as well as the strength in your potential enemies and the devil will try to you know make you put self-doubt and breathe fear all into what you're trying to create don't allow allow that you know just keep moving and keep going because it's like they'll breathe that into your vibration and just because they want you to live doubt and give up today just because you got big huge blessings that's coming up tomorrow keep moving quit you know keep elevating knowing you know best is coming towards your way you know if you're moving in good intention good is always going to happen to you don't allow yourself to be looking at your situation and your circumstances to make you doubt that because create you know you can bring the most beautiful thing in the worst situation so okay go ahead so i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe at every 
every single thing you do. And as well as, you know, um, even even uh, through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You never know. All those things will really take you a long way. And just because, take people a long way. And just because you did it with no hidden intentions, all about love, it's going to take you even further. So please have a safe uh, weekend. Please be safe and responsible with everything you do. Namaste. God bless. I say shalom. Much love. Peace.